Thank you all for coming. We're very happy to have you. We are happy to, to show off our beautiful building here. This, this is the Carpenter Memorial Library, and it has been here since 1914. It was built in 1914. It took two years to build at a cost of $355,000, which in wow. today's world, it's not, it's not a lot. It would cost a lot more to do that now. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to, basically. But anyway, it's, it's a beautiful Italian Renaissance building. And I was talking to someone just before about um, the, there's another library in Springfield, Mass, which is our sister library. It has the same architects as this building, and it looks very, the exterior looks very much like this building because of the same architects, and they've made a few changes inside, but they're rotunda, but anyway, it's the same. It's our sister library. So just a fun fact that we were just talking about. But this building here was had, is very strongly constructed, so we're very safe. In fact, if you'll notice when we go up the stairs, there's a follow-up shelter sign <laughs> because, because it's made with steel steel beams, with granite and concrete and brick. So it's it's mighty sturdy. So not to worry, we're very safe. <laughs> so and I I've, I've been here or employed by this library over 30 years. So it's yeah. <laughs> We have our, our annual circulation, in case anyone is interested, is close to 350,000 materials, and we have about about 320 visitors, 320,000 visitors annually also. Just some statistics off the top. <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't have a whole bunch else to say. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions or, or anything? Thank you. That they'd like to know, or is everybody content and have everything they need? Yes. So what are you reading right now? What am I reading? I'm reading, I'm reading Cuckoo Land, which is by Gloria Norris. It's a memoir. She's a Manchester native, and it's our One Book, One City book, and it's, it's quite interesting. Yeah, lots, lots of fun. What, we're, all, we're all readers. <laughs> anyway, does anyone else have any? Yes. We should meet you here for tours of the library this afternoon. Yes, yes. And, uh, I will be doing, the, we're having two concurrent tours at 2.30. Steve Vigiano, our head of information and technology, will be doing the other one. And also, while we're in this room, I don't want to forget about it. Um, this room was known as the Lecture Hall initially when the building was built. And right under here, under the auditorium, is where you can see that there was a state-of-the-art air circulation system back in 1914. So they built it, it's all hidden in a, all around the building. You can see the evidence of the circulation system. And these little little copper brass things was um, central central back. Wow. So it's pretty amazing, you know, back in 1914, they had, they had these things. Because Frank Carpenter, who's our benefactor, spared no expense when he built, built this building. And he was very involved with every detail. He checked all the plans and the blueprints and had made sure that everything was with the, the um, staircase is wrought iron that he also specified and all of the wood in here is solid oak. So it's 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 absolutely beautiful and very sturdy and strong. <laughs> so, is there anything anything else? Yes? Does your library have any special collections or like a small rare book collection? We do we do have a small rare book collection. Um, that's kept in our vault. Don't tell anybody I told you <laughs> but that we have it. Um, but we also have, I mean, the vault. <laughs> but we also have a beautiful music music and art collection. They, we had a, a benefactor who was a longtime patron here that donated a request to our library for great art books. And part of his bequest was also unrestricted. So we have quite quite a beautiful art collection. And we have a New Hampshire room, so we have a lot of, we have all the books on the history of every town and city in New Hampshire. And we have a lot of, a lot of unique New Hampshire things and um, birth and death certificates and genealogical so, uh, artifacts and resources. Yes? You already mentioned that this is the sister library. Yes, yes I did. I made it. She's the one I was talking to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yes, so we do we do have some some wonderful things, and this this library is known as the jewel in the crown of the Queen City. Manchester is known as the Queen City because it is the largest city in New Hampshire that is not the capital. Mm -hmm. yeah, just full of fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> but anyone else have any questions? And I guess enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you later.